You are watching our live breaking news coverage. Derek Chauvin, the former police officer, accused and now found guilty in the murder of George Floyd Madison. Yeah, and Chris, reaction of the guilty verdicts are pouring in at this moment across the country and in Sacramento. Let's go over what those charges are. And Chauvin convicted today on all three charges against him. Second degree unintentional murder, guilty. Third degree murder, guilty. Second degree manslaughter, guilty. His bail revoked. He was handcuffed and taken to jail. ABC 10's Bria Love is live in downtown Sacramento right now with local reaction to the verdict, Bria. Yeah, Chris, we're at Caesar Ravage Park in downtown Sacramento, as you just mentioned. I want to show you what we're looking at right now. Take a look here. This is the brother of Stefan Clark, Stevante Clark. He is doing a giveaway to the homeless right now. He says this is his way of grieving. So you hear that music back here. There's going to be musicians performing in just a little bit. There are 500 boxes of clothes, 500 shoes, so that people can come here and take whatever they want. But one thing I want you to know is we were standing right over in this area when Stevante learned of the verdict. So I want you to take a listen to that right now. Find the defendant guilty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That was a lot of emotion that you could see right there. He fell to the ground, fell to his knees when he heard that verdict. Now, his mother and his grandma are not here, but we just talked with Stevante a couple of minutes ago. He called his mom on the phone in front of us, put her on speaker so that we could hear what she had to say. She just kept saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Justice. He even called his grandma. She didn't know she's in the hospital right now. He let her know. She's, he says she is so happy. But we're going to be out here with Devante this evening, following what's going, seeing who's coming here and getting more reaction for you later. Back to you guys in the studio. Mm -hmm. Our Bria Love reporting live for us tonight. Of course, Stefan Clark was shot and killed in his grandmother's backyard, Bria. And for her now to be in the hospital as this news is coming down of this verdict in the Derek Chauvin case. You know, the Clark family had said all along that this was something that they were going to be watching as a sign that perhaps there was some justice to be had for even their family. Madison. Yeah, Savante said it was heartwarming indeed. And now we want to go to ABC 10's Lena Howland joining us live from Sacramento's Oak Park neighborhood. Lena, people are saying this is a win. Yeah, absolutely. Emotions were definitely running high here in the heart of Oak Park. We were also here the moment though that verdict was read. All three of those verdicts were read. We heard cheering. We saw hugging and we heard a collective sigh of relief coming from the community right here in the heart of Oak Park. I spoke with a group of women who all came here to watch the verdict come down together. They told me they were not necessarily expecting this to happen, getting all three guilty verdicts, but they say that it finally feels as though just Justice was served and that their months of marching, protesting and speaking out over the murder of George Floyd was all worth it. I want to take you now to what they had to say in that very moment. He was held accountable today. He also himself learned a lesson today and we won today we won. and that's it. We won. We won. And again, you heard it from there. You heard it from those women. They say that they felt like they won today. They say that this was a, won a win for their community. But they did also say that there's still quite a bit of work left to be done here in this community. We're going to hear more from those women and their stories of how they want this community to move forward coming up at 5 and 6 on ABC 10. Back to you. Lena, thank you. Live in Oak Park tonight for us following the guilty verdict of Derek Chauvin. The Sacramento Kings just minutes ago releasing this statement saying, quote, today we have seen justice serve and the ruling should be a model for accountability as it has not been in the reality for so many other cases. They go on to say they continue their commitment to use their platform to combat systemic racism. Now tonight we know as the first night fans are being allowed back into the stands at Golden One Center for a game. The Kings playing Minnesota Timberwolves tonight. And ABC 10's Giacomo Luca is live in downtown in the downtown Commons area with reaction. Giacomo. Well, Madison, for all intensive purposes, this looks like 
Uh, basically what it would look like on any other day here in the downtown commons in front of the Golden One Center ahead of a Kings game. Obviously tonight uh, that game being incredibly important, important not only because it's the first game to be welcoming back fans in almost uh, a year, but also it's that game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Very timely coming as that Chauvin uh, verdict is released. But security in the Golden One Center really looking like what it would look like ahead of any other big game before uh, the Kings play here at Golden One Center. Security uh, definitely present, but not uh, appearing to be overly uh, doing it today. We don't see large police presence. We don't see anything like that. Uh, it appears like folks are uh, just prepared business as usual here in front of the Golden One Center. Our Giacomo Luca reporting live for us tonight in downtown Sacramento. Giacomo, we thank you. I should tell you, we just learned the president and vice president watched the verdict with staff in the private dining room. Following the announcement of the verdict, the president spoke to Governor Tim Walls. And the president, the vice president, and the first lady also spoke to George Floyd's family from the Oval Office. Meanwhile, listen to this. The president is expected to address the nation later tonight. I want to show you a live look in Minneapolis right now. This is unofficially, Madison, called George Floyd Square. And reaction is still coming in from Minneapolis tonight. We want to play you now the verdict that was read in the courtroom about an hour ago. Minnesota plaintiff versus Derek Michael Chauvin, defendant. Verdict count one. Court file number 27, CR 20-12646. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021 at 1 44 p.m. Signed juror four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count two. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count two, third degree murder perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021 at 1 45 p.m. Signed by jury four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count three. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021 at 1 45 p.m. That is the verdict that so many were watching around the world. I can tell you that local attorneys are also weighing in on this verdict tonight. ABC 10's Van 2 is standing by with their reaction van. Well, Chris, we interviewed Mark Marin, who has been a civil rights attorney in Sacramento since the 1970s. And among his largest settlements, $15 million fighting illegal strip searches in the Sacramento County Jail. And even just last year, he represented protesters who took to Sacramento streets after George Floyd's death, and the, he represented them after those protesters were hit by rubber bullets by police. So, Marin, uh, watching the Derek Chauvin trial and the verdict today, with a sense, he says, that this was more of the American justice system on trial as well. So he was, tell, he was telling us today here at ABC 10 that when he first heard the guilty uh, the guilty verdicts in all three counts. His initial reaction was that America has changed. Now, he thought back to um, the Rodney King case where those officers were acquitted, and he said that, you know, this verdict, these verdicts today, really shows a change of the times. The jury did the world a great service here. If any other verdict uh, would have uh, been announced, I think there would have been pandemonium. Uh, it was absolutely clear from the evidence that uh, this was a, uh, a, uh, a murderous act. And weighing in here saying that uh, the jury here came to the right and moral decision and that this really is a sign of a harbinger of things to come when it comes to police accountability. And he said the fight here is not over yet. He says that the other officers present when George Floyd died will should also be taken to justice. Mm -hmm. It is a story that we are going to continue to follow. The breaking news, though, today, the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial, our van, too. We thank you for that live local perspective. And Madison, of course, we are going to continue to follow this breaking story throughout the evening. We are. We will be right back here at 5 o'clock. But for now, we're going to return to local programming.